We are going to the moon. And I should have heard the rumors. The moon, the moon landing. Hoax? That's right. That the moon landing was fake. The, the moon landing, moon landings, all were fake. <laughs> and I was the person who filmed it. You're serious, and okay. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Because I only have this certain amount of time with you, and I and I'll talk about whatever you want. You know, this isn't. Uh, some type of joke or no, film within a film thing. Not a joke. Nope. Okay. The uh, conspiracy theorists were right on this on this occasion. Why? I don't know about Paul McCartney's death, but this they were right about. Okay. Why in God's name would I don't know what they ask you first. What why the hell if you're telling the truth, what why would you do it? Why are you telling me? I mean what the Don't you think it's important for people to know the truth? Yeah, I got, uh, yes, certainly. They had a, a, a massive fraud, a, an unparalleled fraud perpetrated against them. They should know. Okay. Um, I, I mean, they're already suspicious of the government. They may as well have their suspicions confirmed. Okay. So yeah. Justified. And this, why now? I mean, we're almost at the 30 year anniversary. Uh, what, what took so long? Why are you, why, why, if this is true, why? I'm going to that. It has to do with personal. Okay. Uh, uh, evolution and influences. And, well, I'll go into that. Is that why you look a little haggard right now? Because you look a little worn. No offense. Like, well, also, yeah, because I haven't been taking care of myself too well. I've been drinking a lot, but is that because of the stress of this? Of uh, course, stress, guilt, just conflict of all kinds. I mean. So you, you you feel bad about this clearly. I mean, this is. I do feel bad about it. I also feel proud of it. It's a terrible conflict. Because you've pulled off one of the greatest hoaxes ever because of. And your... because I made a film, if you want to call it a film, which I consider to be my masterpiece. And you can't take credit or even talk about it as a as well, a. I'm... Here well, by, you are now. I'm hereby taking credit. Right. But you can't actually go out. You're doing it. When people see this, it'll be, you'll be dead. Until 10 years. Right. Or 15, 15 years yeah. So you can't talk to Roger Ebert about it, you know. Does that frustrate you? Does it pay the consequences for the decision that I made many years ago to go along with this? Like a deal with the devil. It's Faustian, to be sure. Because, and is that why you got such power in Hollywood? I mean, I would explain that. Why well, I have the freedom I have, that was part of it, yes. So they, they, they said, do this moon thing and we'll I, give you... When I made Spartacus, I didn't have this kind of freedom. Right. But I have it now. So what came and first, the NASA, genius or the fraud? What NASA's doing? Well, I mean, what came first, the genius or the fraud? I mean, did the fraud enable the genius or was the genius released well, the fraud? I think the genius came first. Right. But some frauds are hard to bypass, especially if you have an ego and you're an artist and you're presented with a challenge, the likes of which you've never seen and will probably never see again. You don't even think of the morality of it. You're just completely swept, swept away by the flattery of it and the juices inside you, which make you want to do it as the the artist you are innately. You don't think of anything else. What a conflict. I mean, gosh, I can't imagine being presented with that opportunity. On one hand, I really would want to do it, but then I'd probably say, well, I'm committing a crime and lying. And it What's depends, it? but my guess would be, no, you, you, if you're good, you would do it. I, I discussed this with Levinson, Barry Levinson. Right. I discussed it with. Oh, he made by the dog, right? Yeah. Yes. Spielberg, of all people, believe it or not, yes. So wait, why the dog? Coppola, yeah. Scorsese, even Woody Allen, I discussed. Now, there isn't one of them who wouldn't do this. Right. And did that? So Barry Levinson must have been influenced by this whole. He must have known. So that's why the dog is about this whole idea. Uh, and that's why the character was named Stanley. Right. And he gets killed at the end because he demands credit. Here by 
by Stanley Kubrick to more or less ensure the scientific integrity of the film, to make sure that it's very, very close in reality, but still we want to make certain that it has a base of reality. Before the end of the 60s, we will see a man in the moon, to the moon, an American, and we're very proud that our country continues to produce these young men who go so far and carry with them so much. To put people on the moon with enough fuel to enable them to return safely home to Earth, 